Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. That's our one of our ministers from church, Ken Gallion, walking behind me, getting him a cup of fresh cup of coffee this morning. Before we start diving in on some venison burritos on this uh, morning, Friday morning, compliments of Carlos here. Plus, we always got Chick-fil-A on a Friday morning, thanks to Matthew Kyle over there. And First cookies. and foremost, it's tough for an old man like me to stand up today. I must have walked 100 miles last night during that parade. 62 degrees when we left last night on the parade. 62, Matthew, that's a hot one. A hot one. Ah, uh, hey, let me tell y'all what else is coming up today. Glory's going to have the weather for you. As you know, it's warm outside. We're going to talk to Ken Gay, and he's our minister over in Africa about some things. Carlos is feeding us. Matthew is. Frank is on the phone, 230-4988. This is Athens in the AM on this Friday morning. Shut up, back Jingle in action. Bell, Tom, Jingle you have a good time to pray last night? Good. Donnie, did you ever once last night think about shutting up during hey, the parade? That's what my wife said. You ain't shut up since you got there. I said, I want to give a hey, shout out. I want to give a shout out to Brian Morris this morning, that Martin and Cove we set up there. You know, Brian, he don't watch a whole lot of early morning television. So when Donnie pulls out in traffic and jumps in front of about four or five people, I almost caused a massive accident. I holler, shut up. He said, who was that guy? I said, well, that's one of them LSU fans. At least he ain't from Auburn. But, but, but what was I hollering when I was going by? I don't know. Roll Tide, baby, Roll Tide. I just thought you was give me a one-finger salute. <laughs> I was. <laughs> oh, no, that's what I'm doing to you. <laughs> yeah, that's probably All right, let's get doing. the weather this morning. Get it cranking on a Friday morning. This plus we got exclusive video of the parade last night. It was a long night, but, hey, the weather was absolutely spectacular. And it was a tad bit on the warm side. It was actually wonderful. It was a long night, but slept so well. Anyway, let's wake up and get going this morning. 56 degrees out there, according to Frank. About 54 to 56, depending on where you are. And we shouldn't worry about rain today. Yesterday, I said no rain at all to worry about. There was just a few little drizzles on us, but no, actually, no rain did we have to worry about. It was a great night for a parade. High temperatures today of 66, your low of 51. Tomorrow, high temperatures of 69, low of 50. So just enjoy. Enjoy this weather, too, because it looks like some severe weather could move on in Monday, so keep an eye on that with low temp, well, high temperatures around 53. There you go. Maggie, where were you set up last night with your family? Uh, we were down on the corner of uh, Washington and Marion. You were near Christie's office, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, right over there on that side. Yeah, That's over there. So. down there. Jamie didn't provide nothing. I should have went where you were going. Man, see, my deal was last night. I was going to shoot a little bit, then I was going to get downtown and get some more video. How'd well, go I was going to borrow the mayor's golf cart. And officer. Well, how'd that go? Oh, no. Wasn't even crank. <laughs> well, here I got two policemen working on it. And I'm thinking, well, how am I going to get down there? So I'm, Abby's car was across, so I get in it, ease down, and then pull up, train comes through. Parade must have been a, must have been a 10-minute delay there, or 15. That's pretty typical. Well, yeah, there were, I think it was... Two trains came through, didn't they? Well, there was a, a <laughs> tractor stall. And on. then somebody got stuck on them. Oh, oh, they had yeah. to tow them off? Well, that could have been disastrous. <laughs> and then the, what about the car that they went dead? And they had to always see like four or five guys pushing a car. Oh, I, I didn't you know see you that. You see it on the side of the road sitting <laughs> over there. Right. I didn't see it. didn't make it through the parade. Hey, they said, and I got an interview with the mayor, Ronnie Marks, who co-hosted again with Gloria last night. We'll have some of that video coming up in just a little bit. And I asked her, you know, people started lining their cars up. You know, Early. like sun up yesterday morning. I know. I was like, Psh. I ain't going to say what happened People to me. People were everywhere. Oh, yeah. I mean, in this part, you know. Just because of the weather. But there were 10, it was a good parade. I bet there were 10,000 really 10, people was. there last night. I mean, that's uh, what yeah. Ronnie said. They picked 10 to 12,000 people out last yeah. night. So. I would yeah, think so. so. You'll yeah. be able to see it starting here next week, sponsored mainly by Greg Crow at uh, AAA. AAA Real Estate and everything else. He and by Santa. Simon Jewelers, huh? Yeah, he had Santa yesterday. Yeah, Great. he always pulls Santa. Yeah. I just wonder if anybody, any one of our listening audience out there knows how long this parade's been going on. I you know, yesterday knows. we couldn't we couldn't come up with how, what parade it was. Well, I we can't used remember to know what that. You think was. Frank would have known that since he's the uh, thought we'd have checked on that beforehand. Hey, I do want to talk about something this morning. Today, flags will be at half staff across America because today is December seventh. Mm -hmm. And that was Pearl Harbor, was it 1941? Mm -hmm. Huntsville Times has got a fantastic article this morning about two brothers from DeKalb County over in Fort Payne. Let me just share a little bit of this with you. It's, in a, it's a fabulous article. It says, uh, Thomas D. Murdoch wasn't at his post on USS Arizona in the morning of December 7, 1941, when waves of Japanese bombers decimated Pearl Harbor. His two brothers, Charles and Melvin, were the Murdoch brothers of Henniger in DeKalb County were among, get this, 
37 sets of brothers serving on the USS Arizona. Wow. Can you believe that? And 37 sets. And one of three brothers, three sets of three brothers aboard. Mm. Uh, brothers, there, was, there, were, there were brothers, a set of twins, even in them father and son were killed on the Arizona. Oh. Of the 77 brothers serving on the U.S. Arizona, 62 died. Of the 37 sets of brothers, 23 sets died. My goodness. Wow. Oh, I thought it said, I, I was thinking it was said one person out of each one of the families survived. I mean, this was just so I'm uh, sure unbelievable. Con contributes to that rule where the brothers couldn't Yeah, go. I don't know. Did, did that, is or that was that when those five yeah, brothers were Yeah, that's were there. If, you ha if, you, if you're the last two people, they send one over and keep one here. It said he had dined with his brothers the night before because he was oh. married and lived in an apartment. They had asked him to stay. He asked him to stay, but he decided to go back to the ship in Pearl Harbor, his brothers. When they did, one was 25 and one were 23. Oh. Uh, they were in the boiler room at the Arizona at 7.55 a.m. on this very morning in 1941. 1,177 of the cruise mem of the Arizona crew went down with their ship. Their bodies were never found. That was, that was the deciding factor for us yeah. going into war. I mean, we, they and then this, us into it. this guy here, the third brother that survived, died in 1979 at the age of 71. I never knew this story here. That, I didn't know that. My father, son, brothers, and twins all on that that day in uh, 1940. Do you ever I, wonder how strong all those men were and young boys? I mean, they're not, some of them weren't even men. But can you imagine today, today's world, these young kids having to go and do this? I mean, why, I can't even. That's why the military no likes to get the South in there. Cause they I'll tell you something here. else here yeah. to give you all a little news information. I just read an article on meth. Meth was invented mm -hmm. by a Chim chemist. Chim in this era to give to kamikaze, kamikaze pilots, pilots to give them courage. Hmm. Huh. You know that? Let's make our people Never see it. what a informational person I am, what y'all have learned today. It's a history Walking lesson this morning, man. Wow. Educational. But, but, <laughs> yeah, give, me, give me some of that. Okay, now I'm going to dive down here and kill everybody and myself. Yeah, it's because of idiots. I yeah, guess they don't look, they don't look to the future a whole lot, do they? There is no. <laughs> they do. Well. You invested in them, you were in <laughs> trouble. Didn't last long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Man, that's, that's got to be a, a tough one. Hmm. But anyway, flags at half staff day, Matthew. Did you know that? I did. I did know that. Yes, sir. Okay, well, then you're smarter than everybody else. Sure, you are. Huh? Well, you know, I didn't know the rest of it, just the flag part. <laughs> All right, let me give a shout out this morning. Tanner Rattlers left yesterday Yay. on their way to win their first state championship Go, in football. Go, Tanner. They left yesterday. This is the picture out of Decatur Daily this morning. They play today at 3 o'clock on my 8, which I don't play? know what that is on. That's Who did they play? It doesn't matter. It's, it's Washington County. Tanner's 13 and 0. You know, Tanner's only had 14 points scored on the entire playoff. Did they? Wow. Uh, and that was last week. Didn't they win it last year? No, oh, they got the championship no, game. No, got okay. 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 And I'll talk about Madison Academy in a minute. But Madison they Academy, won. congratulations to them yesterday. What's unbelievable about that? First school in the history of Madison County and Huntsville to ever win a state football game. You're just a wealth of knowledge this morning there, James. That's what I'm here for. You woke up I'm here to tell y'all. Man, the ratings are going to go pew. Woo. What time do you wake up? Viewer, huh? Get one more viewer. Make it five. <laughs> I got to tell you, man. That's how it's up. Oh, you know, college football is basically over, but there is one big game, Matthew. We go out in style tomorrow. Army Navy. That's right. I'm gonna put my money on Navy. I am too. Go Navy. Navy has beaten Army ten times in a row. Mm. And I'm ex Navy, so go Navy. Huh? Yeah, that's right. You were in a submarine. What color are they? Some of us wish you'd stayed there. Go Navy. <laughs> go. Yeah. Hey, I got a few. Uh, oh, yeah. don't forget, Jeff Matthews, Jawjacker does call. You know, he's talking about all that stuff. He went to a garage wars, or they had storage, what they, storage wars. They had the first one in Huntsville this week. Well, Jeff goes and buys like, three of them. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the stuff he didn't want, he's selling today at Lewis and Son Garage Sale at 6 a.m. <laughs> Don't say that out loud that, that, that he went and bought three of them. His wife would that chew him out. Him. Well, he did buy three. Well, she could see him the whole time because she had the camera now set now. up in her oh, office because okay. they owned it. Watching it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> where, is that? where are they located, Donnie? They're over there by the <laughs> courthouse in uh, downtown Huntsville. I'm talking about Lewis and Son. That's where the garage sale is. I don't, I don't know where. I don't know where Lewis and Son is. They're off yeah. Highway Moore, 72. Moore's that Hill way. Road. Right, I got a couple. Not, not Moore's Bar. Right now, Moore's Bar Moore. is cringing. Yesterday, when I was at my Stop second 72. office, Walmart, let me tell you, I've got some photographs. Uh, Dusty McLemore's aunt was there, Miss Ann, Ann McLemore. We got a photo. That's her. That's me in the red shirt and crimson tie, don't She was so sweet. Yeah, we both got the same hair color. 
Hers looks better. Yep, Dusty yeah, just celebrated his 60th home. birthday <laughs> this year. Her's a little nice of mine. Miss Harvin Frank, you know her? Oh, that ain't him. That's Jason, that's Jason Pitt. Pitt. Yeah, that's him. Oh, he was standing out there with us. That's me yep. with the Alabama shirt on. He's a roll tighter, too. Said he watches all the time. So okay. thank you for watching. And Miss Harvin, Harvin got five sons. Is that right, Frank? Three of them are Church of Christ preachers. Ken? Yeah. Really? Yeah. There ain't Casey. a whole lot of sinning going on in that family. Is that Casey's mother? Good. Yeah, that's, that's uh, Casey's mom, and that's Chase's grandma. Chase's thing. Right there. Like and thing. not to be outdone, Tom, I'm over yesterday talking to Dr. Pittman. The guy comes out of the back says, I can give you a better deal, Dr. Pittman. Here's a shot of him with his little puppy. Joe Crow <laughs> made the headlines this morning. Greg's daddy. That's, that's Mr. Crow with a hat on. That's his pet there. <laughs> So kind of look alike. Just want to get all that in this morning. He's gonna yeah. kill you. Well, I, I'm just trying to just trying to get out there, Matthew. You're pitiful. That's right. And Zorro, behave. Yeah. No wonder you uh, give out. Let's talk about uh, Santa Claus. Is that again tomorrow? Yeah, he'll be back again tomorrow. So he'll he'll be there from eight to ten. So come have breakfast, get your picture made. So. Maddie enjoyed it. Well, yeah. good. We had a good turnout last week, so we had a lot of kids there. And it's so free. Pretty, it's free, yeah. Just just come on in. And Which is hard to believe these days. So, well, nice. you know. How much are the pictures? Well, nothing's free. It's <laughs> <laughs> call somebody. You know, right. everyone with well, their cell phone, just take really a picture. That. That's cute. Yeah. We, I mean, we've, we've printed them so they can come pick them up this week, so everybody that wanted to can come pick them up. But, yeah, but a lot of people Aww. do that. They'll... They'll sneak take them with their, their cell phone. They'll do their cell phone or, or uh, we'll put them on Facebook as well. Oh, there's Maddie there. I'll do there, some uh, so. more Aww. sports later. We got a lot of stuff to talk about <laughs> here on this Friday morning. Let me do a Dear Jamie right uh, now. Do you have to? Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. Go. I got to hear this because it's all right. Oh, what is this one? I'm a 70 year old man. Yep, you are. Much, you younger than, tell me something? much younger than Frank. <laughs> many, many, tell, many people tell me I look much younger because I have my hair colored professionally. Oh, my. Professional. I started dyeing my hair Is about this 16 really you? years ago. I started dyeing my hair, Tom, like you do, about 16 years ago <laughs> because my children are much younger than uh, those of most people my age. They wanted me to color my hair so I didn't look like their friend's grandparents. Mm, hey, Grandpa. Now friends and new acquaintances make comments about me not having any gray hair. So what do I do? Ken, being a man of the truth, should I tell them I have my hair color, or should I just laugh about it? Why lie about it? Many people, according to Dear Abby, have their hair professionally colored these days, and others do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Since you're beginning to feel self-conscious because you're feeling color your hair ain't age-appropriate, discuss it with your colorist. Let's discuss this just a moment. This morning while I'm getting ready in the bathroom, Mr. Vane is saying, do you think I ought to color my hair? And I'm like, this is like the fifth time you've brought it up. Color your hair if you want to color Look, your hair. Let's get a profile. What color were you thinking? <laughs> he said, what about black? black? I said, no. Oh, my God. Huh? That wouldn't even go with you. <laughs> See, Matthew, you can't even do now you think Nick Saban ain't got gray hair. I'm going to color it this weekend for you. Nick Saban has a lot of gray hair, I can like promise you. He doesn't have a stressful job or anything. Hey, so the I man doubt walks he's got his any, shoes uh, up before every practice and every game. Now, I'm going to come climb. I'm going to come out of the closet on y'all. Uh -oh. I used yeah. to color my hair. No kidding. Well, yeah. Shocker. You, know, I, I want, you can see me as a country rover that Ken Gayen grew up watching as a kid. Well, your hair was brown then. About years ago. Well, I may go back to that color. But now I've kind of got that, that wisdom. Dark. i got that, like Dusty says, it's that wisdom look. No, that's more than wisdom right there, buddy. <laughs> that's a lot. This is wisdom. <laughs> this is wisdom. See, that's, that I, right there is, Gloria is found Alzheimer's. Me, Gloria found me some stuff once that I could spray on every morning and it was colored. <laughs> Well, I was going to the gym a little bit more. Then I'd get on one little bike. Uh, it was for a well, joke, but I'd he I'd look did it at regular. my shirt, and then I'd have all these black specks all over. <laughs> and I said, what's that? Well, it's when I'd work up a sweat. Actually, I would do that from time to time. And I'd just have specks all over. I said, well, i got to quit using that or quit exercising. What you do out, y'all think I'm spraying took? your chest hair to keep those? Keep I need to. Yeah. Spray myself all over. So, Tom, how do you look so 70-ish? Well, if, 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 you, if you get you to pay like me, you don't have to cut it. <laughs> we know yours is real, Tom. I know you're just throwing off on that. But, uh, <laughs> Donnie, I don't look like Everyone you're going to do much for yours. Hair. Hey, I, I love my hair. I, I love me. But so, I mean, but there's I think no about it. At least there's one person, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. Matthew, you know? what about you? You're going to kind of keep that youthful look? Well, mine's probably going to fall out before I get to that point. <laughs> so, uh, it's stress. It's, it's, hey, it's there's like, a new yeah. study that, that, um, that bald people are, are make executives and all that. I thought promoted. that was a solar, a solar panel for a sex machine if you yeah. bald. <laughs> I won't go. I will never be bald. Okay, I'll go out and buy me a piece if I have to. <laughs> huh? Is you that? Will. I might. 
You I'm priced would. Hey, speaking of dyeing his hair red, one day he tried that uh, leave it in for a while. Yeah, and I'm how'd like, that go, get Frank? off the phone and wash your hair. Oh, no, I got this under control. Yeah, you He's only have to leave it on there for a, a certain length. <laughs> no, I left mine on for about three hours. Talk oh, God, well, it's only supposed to be like 10 minutes, right? A little yeah. like my ex wife. Yeah, which is scary. Well, I got to thank Tom. Woo! Picking up my daughter yesterday and taking her back to her vehicle after the parade. Ah, we're going to take a break. I'll come back with a little bit of news in just a moment. We've got plenty of stuff to talk about. We have talked about the parade. I'll let y'all know when it's going to start airing a week from today in a one hour spin. I want to thank all you folks for advertising it, too. They ain't near enough yes, of it, but I'll call you. on the rest of y'all today. All right, we'll take a break. Be right back. Y'all, hang on. Back with Jamie.